and this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. We got a problem based on uh, mass and weight. This question was actually gotten from 2021 science paper one. Let's see how you can actually work out the problems. A man of mass 75 kg on earth goes to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 n kg, newton kg. So now here let me call it data for you. And so now what we've been given is actually mass. So we're going to indicate that mass is equal to 75 kg. That's how much he weighs on the, on the earth. And so now he goes to the moon where the gravitational pull is equal to 1.6 newton kg. Now, if you collect data, working out physics problems become much easier. So now, these are solutions. The question is, uh, what is the mass of the man on the moon? So A, what you need to know is that mass doesn't change. If some person has the mass of 75 kg on the Earth, it will be the same even on the moon. It will be the same as well in, in, in outer space. So you simply have to write 75 kg. So the man has 75 kg even on the moon. So the mass of the man is 75 kg. Let's move on to B. So B is saying, what is the weight of the man on the moon? So what you need to do is you make use of the formula. Weight is given by the gravitational field strength times uh, mass. So now you start with mass. We say mass times uh, gravitational field strength. So weight is given by what's the mass of the person that's 75, 75 kg and then what's the gravitational field strength? That's 1.6. So weight is equal to you simply multiply that, that's uh, 75 times 1.6, which gives us 120 newtons. You need to know that weight is measured in newtons. It's a force. Let's move on to C. See, so they're saying a light truck of mass 200 kg. So we can record mass. Say, let me rub out what's on top here. Yawns. Okay, so a light truck of mass 200, so mass is equal to 200, accelerates from rest at the rate of 1.5 meters per second square. So in physics, it's very important for you to know the units because they will help you to determine the kind of quantity that you're dealing with. So what we're dealing with is actually acceleration. So acceleration is equal to 1.5 meters per second square. Then determine that which they want you to determine calculate the force required to accelerate the car at this rate so force is given by mass times acceleration so all we need to do is plug in the values what's the mass 200 and then acceleration is 1.5 which is equal to so 200 times 1.5 times 1.5 gives us 300 300 newtons so friends that's how you ought to have worked out the problem thank you so much for watching stay blessed